hi everybody welcome back again to our channel let's walk around in today's video we are asking swedes what do they think about russia i uh, don't like uh, putin obviously but i don't think that stands for the russian people and i don't know much else Unfortunately, uh, the corruption and the oligarchs, Putin, they want a lot for themselves. But the Russians are nice people, I think. I think it's important that we separate the Russian government with the Russian people. Uh, because it's not the same, we shouldn't guilt trip the Russian people. Because the government's ideas and opinions aren't the same as the people's ideas and opinions. That Russia as a country and the culture is really interesting. I've always loved Russian. I've wanted to learn Russian. However, politically, uh, I think it's pretty clear that uh, it's not a good country when it comes to democracy and especially with the leader Putin. Uh, however, I think that dissing the people of Russia is not the right course here. I think that we should uh, really talk about the leaders of Russia uh, because that's where the issue is. They, the people don't want to invade Ukraine. It's the government that wants to. I love Russia. It's, in my opinion, one of the most beautiful countries in the world. Um, the culture is very good, um, except <laughs> the women um, are very great. So, yeah, I love the Russians. I hope that the Russian people someday will know the truth about the war in Ukraine. So they could decide their own opinion if it was right or wrong. Because uh, for the moment it's just one man show in Russia. So uh, I want the truth to the Russian people. Uh, what I think about Russian people is that uh, they are really friendly people, I would say. Uh, I haven't spoken too much, I've spoken to a few Russian people, but uh, the one I've spoken to are really friendly. I think that they are being told in a very heavy way by their government what to what the government thinks and that they should be I would say it in Sweden we call it brainwashing or uh, that's what, what I think that uh, but I mean now there's internet and there's a lot of uh, places to go and see the other countries uh, news and other countries so uh, in my opinion they are really heavily depending on the government but it, to some part it's the same in Sweden so <laughs> But they're nice people. I have a lot of Russian friends and I never had a problem with Russian people at all. Uh, as he said, the government is for to blame and like we shouldn't take the blame on the young, like the new generation. They want peace and um, yeah, <laughs> that's kind of it. <laughs> I don't have a problem with Russia as a country or as a culture, as a people. I mean, it's... I think it's very interesting because in so many ways it's such a distant culture and such a distant country because we distance ourselves ourselves from it for, for like the whole of the 20th century. Uh, but on the other hand, the Russian culture is also such a foundation of the Western country, the Korea culture. Um, and we share so many sim similarities in especially in the arts department, like so many Russian artists that are beloved in Western cultures. Yeah, I feel like the same way, because, I mean, I haven't met many, many Russians either, but like the culture is, it's very fascinating because it's, it's very different from the rest of Western Europe in many ways. Uh, but it's it's such a it's such a rich culture with like you know, music and art and theater and literary literature and everything. Uh, but also it's like and like the way people are are very it's very strange, especially for Sweden because I think Sweden and Russia are very very different in like our own set of rules and yeah, stuff. Yeah, like social. Yeah, social norms and stuff like that. And, I think that's that's weird. Uh, it's like my main problem with Russia is more like Russian history and politics because that's just it's just weird. 
<laughs> yeah, like I, I love the Russian people. I have a lot of Russian friends and they're all super great. And uh, I've been to St. Petersburg and well, it's a nice place. It's a rich culture and uh, a lovely people. But uh, so yeah, as, as you said, it's the Russian government with Putin and uh, the other guy, Lavrov, who's doing all this wreaking havoc on the Ukraine. And yeah. so, yeah, that's the problem, and you shouldn't blame. I think in Sweden, people have been bad uh, differentiating the people from the state. So I think we should be better at that, not, not um, thinking that all Russians are pro-Putin, because most of them aren't. Talked right now because of the war, which is understandable, but it doesn't reflect the normal people of Russia, I don't think. From Russia, actually, uh, a very good friend. He, he he was born in Russia, and like his family and stuff are from there. And of course, the stuff that's happening right now is uh, very terrible. And uh, yeah, P Putin is like, it's, yeah, it's very bad. Yeah, um, yeah. I I don't really know much. I don't, I'm, like I know about the situation, but I don't really keep up to date with it so yeah, it's bad <laughs> well I mean I know a lot of Russians through dance through ballroom they um, think it's terrible the war don't like that they're fighting but you know about the culture and stuff it's really cool I've watched a lot of their ice skating and dance that's like what I know. Yeah, I think Russians are lovely people. They're very hardworking and they are very friendly. I think obviously right now it's a bit hard to be Russian maybe in other parts of the world due to stigmatization and like um, stereotyping. Yeah. Uh, but I think they're lovely people. I think they get a lot of blame for this war. Uh, I think the blame should be put on the government and go to the government only because I think most Russian people, and especially the youth in Russia, really don't want this war. And even if this, it's called innovation and whatever the government is feeding them, whatever propaganda they're feeding them, it's obviously hard for us to know here in Sweden. But I think their, the general concern um, for the people there should be a lot louder. Because right now I don't... The thing is they're arresting a lot of people, right? And that's, that's a lovely way of showing that they're against this war. Uh, and I just think their, the stigmatization of Russian people needs to stop and we should, should throw all our hate towards the government if we have any. That was all from today's video and we hope that you guys really enjoyed it. And if you want to listen more city interviews or if there is anything else which you guys want us to make videos about, just write in the comment section and just let us know so we can also work for that as well. To watch more related videos you can surely subscribe the channel and press the bell icon. Until then, goodbye.